Diego County continued to mourn the loss of Terre Haute South Jr. Jenna Pirelli after her tragic passing last Thursday. But in the wake of her death, a neighboring community has stepped in to offer a special show of support. Nicole Kersine met with people in both communities today, and she joins us now with more about this generous gesture. Nicole. Mike, in light of tragedies like the one that the community of Terre Haute is processing currently, having a support system is crucial. And this week, Vigo County has received that support, not only within its county lines, but also from its neighbors, including a southern county all too familiar with the loss of young lives. A week after Terre Haute South junior Jenna Pirelli passed away in a car accident, her community continues to try and wrap their heads around the tragic loss. Uh, our heart just aches for uh, uh, not only her family, but uh, the family of everyone that was involved in that accident. The tragedy has struck a chord with the Vigo County community, rallying them together in support of Jenna's loved ones. As a father, I just don't right now know how you go on from that, uh, but here's what I know is happening. This community is lifting that family up in their prayers and in their thoughts, and I think that's probably the strength of which they'll have to lean on. And that support has seeped over county lines as well. On Tuesday, North Central announced they'd be donating a memorial bench to Terre Haute South in Jenna's honor. This comes after an overwhelming amount of donations of bottle caps and money to North Central in light of the fatal car accident that took the lives of three Thunderbirds in late December. An unfortunate similarity the two schools now have. That we understand what they're going through and just to show them that we know, like, you know, how it feels and um, how to get through it. Superintendent Hayworth says the gesture is a source of light in a dark week for many people in Vigo County. It is just a uh, something that brings comfort to a school system uh, to know that other people, even outside of your school, uh, outside of your hallways, uh, that they're thinking about you and and the difficult times you're going through. Those at North Central find the messages of gratitude to be a callback to their own reactions after fundraising began. People reaching out, you know, saying thank you, like trying to tell us how much it means, but it's crazy because we already know how much it means because people are giving to us. And that generosity shows the bond between the two communities, separated by little more than a geographic marker. It's just a county line in between us. Like, I knew Jenna, well, I mean, I knew of her. I played softball against her my whole life. Like, everybody here knows people up there. We're really close, um, not just in this community, but in the Wabash Valley, I feel like. The benches are already being made from previously donated materials. Principal Monty Kirk told me that weather permitting, the benches should be delivered starting this Friday. The benches for the boys will be dyed North Central Green and Jenna's will be Terre Haute South Red. Mike. Wow, uh, definitely a lot of bottle caps there. I understand they went way over the required amount for the benches, is that right? Yes, yes they did. So Morgan and Principal Kirk told me today that each bench required about 350 pounds of material and they've gotten um, about 7,000 pounds and counting, so they have plenty to, to deal with. And the remaining money will be divided up between the families of the late students, so going to a good cause all around. Mm. Tough time.